do you ensure success? You prepare. And nobody helps you prepare for your day like today in South Florida. I'm Bob Mayer. And I'm Alicia Ortega. Experience the difference. And tune in to us every weekday morning to get a jump start on your day. Today in South Florida, 5 to 7 a.m. on NBC6. Weather, traffic, news, and business. From the most experienced news team in South Florida, it's information to help you prepare. Combine experience, integrity, quality journalism with the power of the internet and you'll know more. A new resource from NBC6 that takes you from your set to the net and back again. Bringing you online links, in-depth information, and surveys on the stories that impact you. Whenever you see this logo, that's your cue to log on and know more. Another resource on NBC6.net. With more than 50 years experience serving South Florida, this is WTVJ NBC6 News. And a good Monday morning to you, everybody. It is July 31st, 2000. I'm Bob Mayer. And I'm Alicia Ortega. It is now, let's see, just about 4.58 this morning. Yeah, a little bit, two minutes before 5. Mm -hmm, and that means it's early. I got some showers coming in this morning on the turnpike. Really? No, mm -hmm. I didn't. I came in the Palmetto, got no showers. And Bobby was going to tell us how much rain out there, Bob. Well, there are a few uh, scattered showers around, nothing particularly heavy. By the way, i tell you something just briefly funny. I walked into uh, the bathroom this morning, and there right on the mirror was a big sign, don't forget to go to Miramar <laughs> after about 50 years of going down I-95 to work. Uh, it's uh, likely I might have gone just, just gone down there. But uh, no, I made it, and so did everybody else, and we're here to bring you all the latest. Latest weather, it's warm this morning. Miami's 82, 83, Fort Lauderdale. What's in the offing? There's some changes in the weather. Uh, you're going to find that uh, over the next couple of days, uh, you're going to find an increase in the showers and thunderstorms, probably starting late tonight into tomorrow. But in the meantime, for your drive-in this morning, you can see these little showers beginning to move in on the radar. So some of the roads are going to be a little bit on the wet side. So please be careful this morning. Drive uh, slowly and leave early. Now here's Bob and Alicia. Thank you, Bob. This morning, the search is partially over for the prized dog of a Miami-Dade Rescue Squad member. That European pooch turned up missing yesterday, and according to the dog's owner, the Cayman is now somewhere at a Kendall Animal Hospital. But the story doesn't end there. NBC6 reporter Ari Odzer has more. Dogs go missing every day in South Florida, but this case is different. Bruce the German Shepherd was being trained to save lives as a search and rescue dog, but he jumped on top of his transformer and jumped over the fence Saturday night and hasn't been seen since. This is Alex Sid, a member of Miami-Dade search and rescue team. It's your dog, Alex. What are you thinking now? I'm like really depressed, to be honest with you. Well, I think working with them, you'll get more attached with them because they become closer to you and they try to do things to please you. And it hurts, you know, it, it's, it's like, it's like, to me, it's like losing a, my son or my daughter. Bruce is two and a half years old, training to become a member of Miami-Dade's world-famous search and rescue team, the team which goes hunting for life at disasters all over the planet, like last year's devastating earthquake in Turkey. We don't only use them for search and rescue around the world, we use them around here locally when children are missing. Ah, what? Training rescue dogs requires a big investment in time and money. That's Alex Sid on the right in a story we did four years ago. He was helping to train a different dog at the time. Sid paid for Bruce out of his own pocket. There's a reward for the dog's safe return. And look for the identifying mark, a tattoo in his right ear, a tattoo of the number 11028. Well, the dog's owner says he wants to find a witness who took his dog to the hospital so he can find his dog. Meantime, he's just 13 years old, but officials say he's already had several run-ins with the law. Police say the teenager likes to steal cars. They add his latest caper landed him and another person right in the hospital. NBC6 reporter Ben O'Schmidt has the details from Fort Lauderdale. Rosa Bryant was chatting calmly on the phone fixing some watermelon when her Sunday afternoon was interrupted, her house crashing down around her. What did she think? I'll tell you the truth, I can't actually tell you. It happened so fast and quick that I don't know myself. 
when told a 13-year-old boy had stolen a car driving it through her front door, putting her life at risk, destroying her home, Ryan says she immediately thought of her own children. I feel so sorry for the child. You do? Yeah, because I got cheering myself, and I feel sorry for the poor little fella. Even though you apparently stole the car and yeah, came in here? That grand from grand cheering too, you know, and you never know. But the team was not as lucky as Brian, who escaped with minor injuries. He was sent to the hospital. The team's family tells NBC6 the team was under house arrest for stealing another car, several cars, in fact, even driving one of those cars into another home. The team's father offering apologies to family members outside the battered home. His uh, parent came and apologized to you? To me. I didn't get his name or nothing, but I accepted the apology. And Why would you accept it? That's a big gesture on your part. Well, I think it's decency for him to come and apologize. To give you some sense of how fast the team was going, take a look down here at the car's tracks. If you follow them, they lead to a divot in the front lawn. Investigators say the car, going at least 70 miles an hour, bottomed out there in the front lawn, then went airborne into the house. A boom, like thunder. And then what did you see? Yeah, I seen smoke. An unusual chain of events, to be sure, but listen to this veteran FHP trooper. All I can tell you is nothing surprises me now. Well, Florida taxpayers and food stamp users may soon be getting more bang for their buck. And thanks to some high-tech technology, Florida has cut back error and fraud in the system. NBC6 reporter Scott Tallon has more. Okay, I'm going to use my car. Tamara Hayes has been using food stamps for almost five months. Instead of actual stamps, though, she uses an electronic benefit transfer, or EBT, card. The next chance of someone stealing your food stamps, you don't have to have, like, a whole book of food stamps and stuff like that, you have one card. The EBT card and better technology are why the state officials say they've improved the food stamp error rate from almost 13% to under 10%. That means in nine out of every 10 cases, food stamp benefits are being delivered correctly and without fraud. It's good news because it means for taxpayers that their dollars are being responsibly utilized. 870,000 Floridians used $850 million worth of food stamps last year. A family of three would have to make less than $14,000 a year to be eligible. It also is good news for public assistance um, clients who are temporarily in vulnerable situations because it means that the benefits are going indeed to those for which it is intended to. Over the years, things have gotten so bad with the distribution of food stamps in Florida that people who have died have gotten stamps. Those errors and others resulted in $400,000 worth of penalties last year. That's nothing compared to 1992 when the penalties were over $98 million. And this year, no penalties at all because Florida's error rate is now better than the national average. In Tallahassee, Scott Talon, NBC6. Now, because of the state's reductions, Florida was recently honored by the federal government for making the most improvement in the entire southeast. However, officials say they still don't know how many actual dollars the improvements will save. Well, the time now is... What time is it? <laughs> Check your watch. It Thank is now 5.05, approximately. All right. <laughs> Philadelphia and the GOP ready to show George Bush some brotherly love, a preview of the GOP convention coming up. And now the Concord flight emergency on board a different airline, this time carrying some famous entertainers. A half century ago, here in this building, Florida television began. WTVJ made the commitment to deliver the first and best newscast in South Florida. Journalistic excellence, community service, consistent innovation. Interesting. The more things change, the more they stay the same. The difference is experience. Experience the difference in BC6. What should you do to stop a friend from driving drunk? Whatever you have to. The only 
only station with more than 50 years experience covering South Florida hurricanes is also the station with the most extensive network of media partners. Stormwatch 2000. Print. The Herald. El Nuevo Herald. Radio. Mega 103.5. News Radio 610. Mix 94 FM. Keys Talk 1300 AM. Television. WB 39. Pax 35. Whammy. And the net. NBC6.net. Make NBC6 and its media partners your only choice this hurricane season. President Clinton is making a stop here in South Florida. The president is scheduled to attend fundraisers in West Palm Beach and Tampa. He will speak at a reception for Florida's Insurance Commissioner Bill Nelson. Officials say the president plans to stay overnight in the West Palm Beach area. Well, this morning, problems continue to plague Concorde jetliners. A British Airways Concorde on its way from London to New York was forced to make an emergency landing in Newfoundland last night. The airline says passengers complained about a smell of gas in the cabin. Among the 69 passengers on board, singers Tony Bennett and George Benson. A second British Airways Concorde was unable to take off from London's Heathrow Airport earlier yesterday because of a refueling problem. This all comes less than a week after the first ever crash of a commercial Concorde jetliner. Last Tuesday, an Air France Concorde flight crashed near Paris, killing 114 people. Investigators now are looking at a punctured fuel tank as a possible cause of that crash. Officials say they found part of it on the runway. The uh, tank may have been pierced. The plane's tires ruptured. Well, still ahead on today in South Florida, looking for a place to visit this summer? How about the nation's capital? One of its signature monuments is back in business. If you're driving along Hollywood Beach this morning, you still have time to catch a visual treat happening at the Diplomat Resort. A live picture from our Skycam network. That's I-95 heading into downtown Miami. We'll see what traffic holds in store. Karen Curtis coming up in about uh, 20 minutes. But first, Bob Weaver coming up with a forecast. Stay with us. America's first family. Today in South Florida is brought to you in part by Maroney. When you need a car, call Maroney. Call 1-877-MAROONEY. Oh, how'd she find out? Oh, my clubs. Oh, gee. Oh. Oh, she did. Sparky. You need a car? We'll show you the way. Maroonie, the best price, guaranteed. When you need a car, you need Maroonie. Sweet revenge, Sparky. Monday's newest hit is Mysterious Ways. You investigate, what did you call it? Uh, miraculous phenomena. Tonight, when her husband passed on, he made a promise to return one year later. You really think this guy's going to materialize? I could be there when it actually happens. He must miss you. His aura is still very much with me. Will it be a mystery or a miracle? Get your cameras ready, folks. Don't miss this powerful new drama, Mysterious Ways, tonight at 8, 7 central on NBC. You all know what this is, right? It's a cigarette. If you stick it in your ear, you look dumb. But you know what's even dumber? Sticking it in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> with all we know about cigarettes today, it's not too smart to start smoking. So next time somebody offers you a smoke, just tell them where to stick it. They never expected to fall in love. You look beautiful. Now they know they can't deny what's in their hearts. But something unexpected could take it all away. Passions. On NBC6. dollars and almost three years later the Washington Monument will reopen today during the restoration project workers patched the marble exterior and updated the mechanical systems the viewing windows at the top have also been enlarged while there is no ceremony planned for the reopening the Park Service will issue free tickets for tours which begin every half hour 
from 9 in the morning until 5 p.m. The monument is 115 years old. You've been there? I have not been there. As a uh, well, last time I was there was two years ago. It was uh, the, the construction was well underway, so mm -hmm. everything was blocked off. So I'm looking forward to getting back. But I get back. to go now. Right. Refurbished. All right. And uh, weather? Mm-hmm. Bob Weaver? Weaver's here. He's going to tell us about some showers out there. Bob? Well, that's just uh, for the morning hours. Uh, you're going to find that uh, by tonight, they're going to have an increase. Uh, there is a little bit of a trough that's going to affect our weather system here. Uh, that's uh, a, an area that has uh, some lift to it. And every time you get showers, a few thunderstorms that are a little bit heavier, what you have to have, you have to have a little bit of lift. The air mass has to go up uh, a little higher. And uh, you find that some of these storms that develop now begin to develop into thunderstorms. But for the time being, if you take a look at this picture, most of these are on the lighter side. There are a few heavier showers around. You can see a few moving in right around County Line Road again, right here between Fort Lauderdale uh, and then south to the Miami area. There were a few near Homestead, a few more moving across Homestead. But these are our light showers. We take a look down here to the Keys, not much down to Key West, but the Middle Keys getting some showers. Now, all of this is light. What's going to happen by tonight, you're going to have a different story play. Right now, here is uh, Miramar, for example, and I'll put this in motion for you. And you can see there are a few showers around. Look at 95. There is a shower around Hallandale Beach. And then to the south, around uh, Kendall and Homestead, there are a few showers around. So all in all, uh, if you take a look at the picture here, it's not terrible. There are scattered showers around. And some of the roads could be a little bit wet, so you have to use caution as always. But uh, I think it's going to get a little bit worse by tonight. Here, uh, again, around Sweetwater and Kendall, there's not a lot going on. Most of the showers are either north, south, and in the interior. So I think if you're driving in, uh, just watch out for a few spots along 95, and then uh, aside from that, everything looks like it should be okay. There is a close-up of the radar for the Keys, and nothing much to worry about there. All right, uh, as we take you now to the rest of it, uh, I think you're interested in the weekend, so what I think I'll do talk a little bit about that. Here you look up to the north, wet, showers, some thunderstorms all up through that area. There's a cold front that's moving towards the east, and that's going to trigger off some showers and some thunderstorms. To the south now, if we look over the Florida weather pattern, uh, you have several things going on. First of all, there's more activity around than there has been in weeks. And so you have to watch every one of these uh, little areas. And then we're going to continue to look at that as we look at the tropics. So here is a good picture. And we'll put that in motion. And then you can uh, look over the southeast. There are a few showers. But look, uh, <coughs> excuse me, look how much uh, weather there is over the south now, uh, over sections of uh, the area of uh, South America, Central America, Mexico. There's all kinds of uh, showers and thunderstorms around. Now, some of those could be locally heavy for those areas, but notice there's not too much here. But when that upper system comes through by tonight, we'll start to get some showers, some thunderstorms, and not uh, only that, but it's going to last probably through tomorrow. So be prepared for that. And uh, after that, there'll be some improving conditions. Anyway, for this morning, wherever you are, please drive carefully. Now here's Bob and Alicia. All right, thank you, Bob. The Republican National Convention gets underway this morning in Philadelphia. The GOP plans to push a new platform and its prime candidate for president. Brooke Hart has more from Philadelphia. Good morning. It's opening day for Republicans in Philadelphia, and with access to education and health care at the top of their agenda, some may need reminding this is the GOP. <laughs> Signs up, balloons up, delegates are fired up at Philadelphia's convention center, now Republican display case. The tune from center stage to include some unconventional GOP themes, starting with education from tonight's speaker and would-be first lady, Laura Bush. I'm nervous, a little bit nervous, but not that much. Her opening night co-star, Colin Powell, speaking on the power of volunteers. Could this be the new feel-good party? Democrats in this new ad say not so fast. Cheney was one of only eight members of Congress to oppose the Clean Water Act. One of the few to vote against Head Start. 
Running mate Dick Cheney arriving to cheers yesterday says he'd rethink some votes but offers unwitting help to critics insisting he can't shake his past. That's what we're trying to reestablish in Washington with a 19 or excuse me, with a 2000 campaign. That's right, it is the 21st century. Slip or symbol aside, Cheney isn't holding back George W. Bush in the polls. The latest from NBC and the Wall Street Journal puts Bush swinging through Ohio Sunday, six points ahead of the presidential pack. My job is to do something more than, more than just an agenda. My job is to lift the spirit of the country. With confidence and a deliberately positive message, the party and its candidate now ready for their close-up. There is some party business on the day's agenda, including a tribute to late Senators Lincoln Chafee and Paul Coverdell. George W. Bush doesn't arrive until Wednesday, but he's scheduled to address delegates via satellite tonight. In Philadelphia, I'm Brooke Hart. Now back to you. All right, and keep it here on NBC6 for live coverage of the Republican National Convention. And let's go to Alicia Ortega now for the time. Let's see. You're going to have me checking my watch <laughs> all, through all morning. It is now 517 approximately, if my watch all is right. not lying to me. No pooches allowed on parts of Fort Lauderdale Beach, but somebody forgot to tell these dog lovers, and they're not too happy how that happened coming up. <laughs> well, the stuff politics are made of, great speeches. How do they get to be so great anyway? We'll find out in a special report coming up. The only station with more than 50 years' experience covering South Florida hurricanes is also the station with the most extensive network of media partners. Stormwatch 2000. Print. The Herald. Only the Herald. Radio. Mega 103.5. News Radio 610. Mix 94 FM. Keys Talk 1300 AM. Television. WB 39. Pax 35. Whammy. And the net. NBC6.net. Make NBC6 and its media partners your only choice this hurricane season. It's coming in September to NBC6. Well, like all political conventions, the 37th National Convention of the Republican Party is designed to build up the party's nomination for a presidential candidate and the nominee's triumphant entrance. Well, the presidential hopeful then delivers a stirring speech. NBC's Jonathan Alter now takes a closer look at how those dramatic moments are made. The hall is ready. The candidate's big moment is now just four days away. I need to know what ideas we want to get in. And then Speechwriter Michael Gerson says the goal is to show what is his view of the times and how does he fit it. Hey, a potentially difficult fit for a challenger trying to convince the country to shift directions in boom times. In this given set of circumstances, why in a time of prosperity and peace, America should change governments? That's his task. 
and he has to do it in a sort of stylistically winning way that makes him an attractive, compelling figure, but he has to make an argument. And along with selling a candidate's vision, the acceptance speech needs to generate momentum for the sprint toward election day. I think Governor Bush's first challenge is to, to know that even after all this campaign, there's millions of Americans who will be watching him and judging him for the first time. Those judgments can be critical. In 1964, Barry Goldwater had a memorable line about the Cold War. Extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice. That helped cause a crushing defeat in November. Ronald Reagan, in 1980, promised dramatic change. We are going to put an end to the notion that the American taxpayer exists to fund the federal government. The federal government exists to serve the American people. He won in a landslide. In 1988, his successor, George Bush, proved that some lines... Read my lips. can come back to haunt you after you win. This Bush campaign is going to ride the good times, suggesting that after two terms of Clinton, it's more than money that matters. We're going to talk about how we can use uh, this moment, this moment of exceptional promise, to do great things. Um, and we're going to talk about how the, the, uh, I, you know, the current administration hasn't done so. Here inside the convention hall, there's not going to be a lot of drama early this week. But Thursday's acceptance speech remains critically important as millions of voters finally tune in to focus on Governor Bush and his message, many for the very first time. Jonathan Alter, NBC News, Philadelphia. Stay with us. Some of the stories we're working on for our next half hour. He spends a portion of his time looking for missing people, but now one South Florida man is probably on his most important personal search ever. Well, whip out the pens and the checkbooks. Uncle Sam invites you to go shopping on him. Plus, it's official. Two friends become more than just that. <laughs> Weather and metro traffic when we come back on Today in South Florida. We're working hard to stop the spread of citrus canker, and we need your help. I'm Agriculture Commissioner Bob Crawford. It's okay to eat your citrus at home, but moving fruit and plant material out of your yard can spread citrus canker like a wildfire. Once the disease is carried into your neighbor's non-infected area, the damage is done, the quarantine area grows. Please help us contain this deadly plant disease. Don't move any citrus or plant material from your property. We're here in this auto graveyard to demonstrate a remarkable car polish. New finish, the once a year car polish. New finish is not a wax. It's a unique polymer formula that's even safe for clear coat finishes. Simply wipe it on and just wipe it off. There's no rubbing, no buffing, and you can even apply it in direct sunlight. And look, new finish restored a deep, hard shine even to this weather beaten car. Just one application will give your car a showroom shine that lasts a whole year. To prove it, we polished this car with new finish and ran it through 52 car washes. Even after heavy-duty detergents and powerful scrubbing, the water still beads. So get new finish, the once-a-year car polish. New finish, rated number one by Consumer Magazines. Available at Eckerd Drug, Winn-Dixie, Pep Boys, Kmart, Walgreens, Albertson, Target, and Discount Auto Parts. They never expected to fall in love. Now they know they can't deny what's in their hearts. But something unexpected could take it all away. Passions on NBC6. With more than 50 years experience serving South Florida, this is WTVJ NBC6 News. Well, if you know where this dog is, please, its owner says, come forward. As to where that dog is located, however, it's very limited. The owner still needs your help. I'm Tina Conti, live in Miami-Dade. I'll have the latest coming up.
The days of tax-free shopping are finally here, and so are the sales. And an eye-catching view up above Hollywood Beach. Today in South Florida, it is Monday, July 31st, the year 2000. A live look at I-95. Traffic uh, starting to build up out there. And we have had some showers this morning, so be careful driving in some wet roads. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alicia Ortega. And I'm Bob Mayer. The time now is uh, 527, and Bob Weaver is here with a look at our weather. Bob? Well, I know a lot of folks getting up right now are just uh, waiting uh, to see what's going to happen. Uh, if you're traveling down the highways right now, there are a few showers around, not too many, but some of the roads could be a little bit on the slick side. You'll probably see some of the uh, residue of the moisture, but uh, just drive carefully and slowly and leave early, and you have no major weather problems. Now, if you look down to the Caribbean, uh, there were some showers over Cuba, but most of those are to the south. Now, this little area could uh, move north and come across, but in the meantime, uh, we're planning for the next few days. You look at it this way. By tonight, you should have an increase in clouds. There'll be showers and some thunderstorms around with the approach of another system. Now, that will move through, but it'll still make it a little bit uh, on the upset side for Tuesday. So I would look for cloudy with some showers, maybe a few thunderstorms on Tuesday, improving Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But uh, we have to keep watching all of this area and the area off the African coast because now is the time that the African coast plays a big, important picture in our weather. If you're traveling around the country, uh, well, here's what to expect. Expect temperatures in the 70s, 80s, and a few 90s out west. But most of these are fairly pleasant. The southwest be hot again. Dallas, Fort Worth, about 92. About 90 as you get uh, to sections of New Orleans. And then uh, Jacksonville, about 92. So all in all, it's hot over the south, mild over the northeast. And along with that, uh, if you're going fishing today, you'll find the seas about three to five feet, a little higher than they have been. So use caution and the waters near shore, a moderate chop. That's the weather picture. Now here's Bob and Alicia. All right, Bob, thank you. Well, a special dog training in search and rescue missions turns up missing himself. Luckily, after our report right here on NBC6, the owner now knows where the dog is, but he's still a long way from a happy reunion. NBC6 reporter Tina Conti is live in West Miami-Dade with the latest. I mean, what is the deal with this dog? Why, why can't he be reunited with his owner? Well, again, they may be one step closer to locating the animal, but they still need the, need the public's help. Basically, what has happened is some new information has come in, but it is very sketchy. The owner knows what may possibly now have happened to the dog. Owner Alex Sid says Bruce the German Shepherd jumped over the fence on Saturday night. He has been missing ever since then. I'm like really depressed to be honest with you. Well, I think working with them you get more attached with them because they become closer to you and they try to do things to please you. And it hurts, you know, it, it's, it's like, it's like, to me it's like losing a, my son or my daughter. Following our initial television report, a witness called the WTVJ studios to say he believes that he saw Bruce the German Shepherd after a car accident. He believes the animal was struck by a vehicle. Another witness on the scene reportedly brought that dog to an animal hospital. The only problem is the witness who called us says he doesn't know who the person was or which hospital he took the dog to. According to his owner, Bruce does have a tattoo in his right ear, number 11028. Sid is offering a reward for the dog. The dog was in training to become an elite member of the Miami-Dade County Search and Rescue Team, which rescues victims following tragedies around the world. Owners often do spend a lot of time and money getting these dogs ready to be members of the Search and Rescue Team, the dogs which ultimately could help to save lives. Now, we are told that the witness who may possibly have brought this dog to an animal hospital is described as a young man, a 19-year-old, who was driving a white Mitsubishi Montero. That driver not believed to have been the one who actually struck the animal. However, if you have any information on this person, or perhaps even the veterinarian who has cared for the animal, you are being asked to call Miami-Dade police so that the owner may be reunited with Bruce. Reporting live in Miami-Dade, Tina Conti, NBC6. All right, thank you, Tina. If you haven't heard the news yet, pets are in the doghouse in parts of Fort Lauderdale. A new ordinance took effect over the weekend banning all dogs and cats from a popular beach. 
NBC6 reporter Andrea Brody has details. The first weekend of this ban is now coming to a close. We have been out on Fort Lauderdale Beach for hours now. One thing is clear, most people have gotten the message, man's best friend is no longer welcomed here. They come on late wheels, but not on four legs. Along Fort Lauderdale Beach, the dog days of summer are officially over. A new city commission order outlaws canines and other members of the animal kingdom from both sidewalk and sand. Dogs, cats, birds, fish, snakes, whatever. Reptiles, we get iguanas out here also. This is the view that will not be enjoyed much from Harbor Drive to Northeast 18th Avenue. The ban aims to make the beach more attractive to families and tourists. Oh, it's better not to have dogs sniffing, but still, I like dogs to walk around. For the people who love dogs, yeah. sad, but for me, good. <laughs> no, because I'm afraid for dogs. Did you know that you're not allowed to have dogs on Fort Lauderdale Beach anymore? No, I was in a world of venues. They banned them. They did? Why? Seven-month-old Rico, the lone offender this day. His owner confused by the signs that have not yet caught up with the law. Well, I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong or him, you know. We're just walking through the beach. When police do see a dog, right now they're only issuing warnings. Eventually, though, Fido will come with a fine to $500. On Fort Lauderdale Beach, Andrea Brody. NBC6. Emergency crews are working on a brush fire in West Broward this morning. Firefighters say nearly 150 acres of land are burning west of I-75 at Commercial Boulevard near the Everglades. Officials suggest if you live in the area, be on alert, but they ask you please do not call 911 unless you see flames. The blaze is expected to burn itself out. What we're asking people to do is try and limit their calls to actual fires. If they're calling us to tell us that there's smoke just in the area, we're aware of it. So try and limit your calls at this point to true emergencies and actual fires. Officials say no homes are threatened by the fire at this time. There's also no concern that smoke could affect any neighborhoods. Traffic is back up and running along parts of A1A this morning after shutting down for a construction project at the Diplomats. The road was closed for eight hours last night while crews hoisted a skywalk 19 feet in the air and attached it to two towering pillars. It'll provide access to the resort's retail investment complex on the west side of the road and the hotel on the ocean side. And what a sight last night's project was. It looked like an arc of light mm -hmm. soaring across State Road A1A as the skywalk was put into effect. A spokesman from the diplomat says the resort hopes the lighted skywalk will become a landmark for the community. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it really is. Yeah, well, at 5.34, we bring in the queen. Uh, actually, it's Chris <laughs> Leonard today. Oh, it's Chris Leonard. Now, now, let's see. Karen did not ask us for permission to take a day off, Chris. Oh, my, Lisa, I'm not quite sure how to respond to that one. In fact, yeah, the story you were just talking about there with A1A between Hallandale and Hollywood Beach Boulevard, construction crews are still out there. They're planning to wrap that uh, project up this morning right around 6 a.m. Here's a live look now at the Palmetto Expressway southbound through Hialeah. Pretty good ride between I-75 all the way down. We do have one reported accident on the airport expressway in Hialeah at Northwest 36th Street. Let's jump into Broward County now at Interstate 95, north and southbound. Also a pretty good move, no major difficulties. Construction is a problem for you in Pompano Beach along Sample Road between Military and Powerline. Uh, by the way, the Queen will return tomorrow. Until then, that's the latest here from the Sky Kim Traffic Center. All right, thank all right. you, We can call you the king of the road. A absolutely. Why not? <laughs> it is now, let's see, 535. We do have a clock back here. That's why I'm going to be looking back. Uh, from time to time. Coming up? Double your savings at the mall with tax-free shopping, courtesy of your uncle, Sam, that is. One of Hollywood's hottest couples says, I do, to the biggest role yet. Bernie Rubber with Sly and Spanish sensation Penelope Cruz. I'm Pat O'Brien. On the next, that's us Hollywood. Our own Nancy O'Dell joins Sly on the racetrack and in the pit for a speedy big screen comeback. Then... From steamy scenes to sultry photo spreads, get a peek at Penelope Cruz. You won't get anywhere else. Plus, we've got the official photo from Brad and Jennifer's wedding. Next, Access Hollywood. Tonight at 7, followed by Extra here on NBC6. <laughs> on the highway of life, it's nice to meet an honest man. Introducing Voice Stream Wireless. Talk to me. Voice Stream gives you more with 500 anytime minutes. Just $39.99. Oh, that's good. More for your money.
guaranteed. Great. And weekends? Do you like parties? Now free nationwide. We'll have a great time, I guarantee it. So get voice stream and get more from life. Guaranteed. Hello. Something comes over, people, at SeaWorld. something in the water. Our insurance bill is getting too hot to handle. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. At least you'll feel smart when the car insurance bill arrives. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. What goes up doesn't always come down. Some thrill-seekers in Iowa got stuck for hours on a sky ride this weekend at Adventureland Park. Nearly 50 people were left stranded some 50 feet in the air after technical problems with the ride. They had to be rescued with fire ladders, cherry pickers, and a crane. What a mess. A park spokesperson says the ride shut down because of a flipped breaker switch, but no one knows why it happened. Well, it's that time of the year again. Parents across the Sunshine State are getting ready for back to school. That means tax-free shopping is in place, leaving registers ringing across our community. NBC6 reporter Ed O'Dell tells us for many it's an offer we just can't refuse. Consumers say there's a lot of money to be saved when stores reduce prices for back-to-school sales. However, tax-free shopping days brings consumers out a lot earlier. Judith and Brian Harris have three children to get ready for the opening of school. Like thousands of consumers at Sawgrass Mills, they have waited patiently for tax-free shopping days. Do you do it every year? Uh, last year we did. Do you think it saves a lot of money? Yes. The state legislature mandated nine days for tax-free shopping. The period began Saturday and runs until midnight, August 6th. On qualified items, consumers do not pay the state's 6% sales tax or local tax options on items costing $100 or less. Do you usually shop on the, um, the tax-free weekend? Um, no. Did you know about it? Yeah, I read about it in the paper. You read about it? The state expects savings to top $41 million this year. That's almost $35 million more than last year. Most clothing items, even pantyhose and diapers, are tax exempt. Consumers will still pay taxes on watches, jewelry, skates, and sporting gear. And what does one do after saving money during a tax-free shopping spree? We're going again. You're going to go shopping again? Yes, okay. at another mall. As crowded as stores are, some business people we talked to said they expected to see a lot more people shopping this weekend. In Sunrise, Eldell, NBC6. Well, we all know South Florida is the best place to live, right? But do you know what the hottest things are to do in our community? Well, if not, you can turn to Miami Metro Magazine for the answers. The magazine, in conjunction with NBC6, is named the best people, how about that, the <laughs> best places and the best things to do here in South Florida. The best of list includes everything from the top car wash to most like delicious media medianoche media sandwich. sandwich. Uh, you can also check page 50 for a background of our community's best kept secrets, which includes profiles on some of our anchors and reporters. Medianoche, I could go for one of those right Me now. Me too. Mm. Me too. Well, the time now is? Here we go again. It is about 5.40. All right, coming up on Today in South Florida. A live look from our SkyCam network, I-95 and Griffin Road. Not too much happening out there. Chris Leonard's coming up with traffic. Bob Lever coming up with the entire forecast for this morning. Stay with us. America's first family. Today in South Florida is brought to you in part by Maroney. When you need a car, call Maroney. Call 1-877-MAROONEY. 
What's your best deal? Happy wash, four ninety-nine. Uh, coupon. Oh, early bird special. Buck ninety-nine. Take care of my baby. That's my car. <laughs> Need a car? We'll show you the way. Maroonie, the best price guaranteed. When you need a car, you need Maroonie. My credit is downright bad. Most companies wouldn't even talk to me about a credit card. No one would give me a credit card unless I already had one. Covidian was the only company willing to take a chance on me. It's such a relief to finally have a credit card. And the fees are easy to handle. All I did was apply over the phone, and there it was. Hey, I deserve this credit. The Visa Classic card from Providian. Apply right now over the phone and get up to $1,000 in credit. And you can earn even more credit after just a few payments. So call for your Visa Classic card now. Pembroke Lakes Mall reminds you there are two shopping days left until Mother's Day. uses the latest techniques in ceramic crowns or implants to permanently restore or replace teeth and improve your smile. It will make you smile. For the best and affordable dentistry in a caring environment, call Dental Health Group today at 888-83-SMILE. Well, you can now call her Mrs. Pitt or... Mr. Aniston. <laughs> Actors Jennifer Aniston <laughs> and Brad Pitt have officially tied the knot out in California. More than 200 people gathered for the weekend wedding by an ocean bluff in Malibu, including Aniston's co-stars from the show Friends. The wedding cost a reported $1 million. There is still no word on where the couple is going to honeymoon. $1 million? Incredible, huh? I know, yours wasn't even 7000 <sighs> Oh, to have money. Oh, Bob Weaver, <laughs> please take it away. Uh, I just, just wanted to let you know that uh, as far as everything is concerned, that uh, that one million is not really too bad because later on it costs a lot more. We're going to take a look at a couple of things. First of all, uh, the winds today are out of the southeast at about 15. Now, boaters, I uh, want to talk to you a little bit uh, about the weather over the water. Uh, you're going to find some showers and a few thunderstorms, especially later on, and some of those uh, could be fairly violent. You could have water spouts around. Uh, generally, the overall weather picture is for an increase in the moisture content of the air mass a little bit later on. For example, tonight, you can expect some showers, thunderstorms late tonight, and they'll last right through tomorrow. After that, uh, that should be gone and then we'll have some better conditions. But in the meantime, for today, the sea will start out at about three to five feet, and the waters near shore will have a moderate chop. And uh, again, if you folks are going to the beach today, you're going to find the possibility of some rip currents. The best thing to do is to talk to the lifeguard. All right, for today, we'll call it scattered showers, few thunderstorms, but increasing late. And the temperature will get up to about 90 degrees for today. Now, if you're going out tonight, uh, that's when we expect some increase in the cloudiness, and then the showers and a few thunderstorms will start. But it'll be really late before you see the thunderstorms. Temperature will get uh, down to about 77 degrees. Not too bad a night, but you have to be careful. Some of these showers may come in a little bit early, may wet the roads a little bit, so you're going to have to use caution. Now, if we take a look at tomorrow, tomorrow we still have that same system going through. Consequently, it's going to be on the cloudy side. You'll look for showers, thunderstorms, and it'll get up to about 90 degrees. As far as uh, everything else goes here, take you right through the weekend. The weekend should be a little better. You'll have showers, you'll have some thunderstorms, but uh, not quite as bad as you might think because uh, with that upper system getting through early, uh, you'll find showers around and a few thunderstorms, and it's still going to be on the warm side. Temperature will be around the 90-degree mark. Right now, if you look at the state of Florida, you can see temperatures are in the 80s, and they're coming down a little bit, but then they will start the rise as the sun 
begins to heat the earth, and then you'll start to see more clouds and more thunderstorms around. All right, here's the uh, latest radar picture, and if we look at that, see what's coming in, some more scattered showers. And we're going to have, <coughs> excuse me, I caught a cold, and I don't know where I got it from, but I got it. Anyway, here we go, right along the coast. And if you look at, the, for example, here's Hallandale Beach. Now, let me put everything in motion. See, I had a shower go right through there, right across 95. So if you're driving that way, that part of the road is going to be a little bit on the wet side. Then if you come to South Florida, Homestead, Florida City, you see the couple showers that come across there. The showers that come across are the ones that drop the moisture on the roadways and make it dangerous for you. So please be careful. Now here's another picture. And these are all close-ups of the radar so you know exactly what's going on. We look uh, nothing too much as you get uh, over uh, near Bal Harbor, Miami Beach, uh, Key Biscayne. There's nothing around there too much. The showers they've had moved across, and that's uh, just about it. So our weather for today, not too bad. There'll be a few showers and a few thunderstorms. Now here's Chris Leonard. Hey, good morning once again, Bob. In fact, one of those showers passed uh, across Hallandale. It is slick from that point down to the Golden Glaze Interchange. Here's a live look at the Palmetto Expressway. Southbound moving very nicely between I-75 all the way through. Let's jump over to 79th Street and take a look at that. Golden Glaze Interchange all the way to this point. That's only about a 12 to 15 minute commute all the way into the Magic City. There is one minor crash on the Airport Expressway at Northwest 36th Street. That's actually going to put it in Hialeah. on the westbound side. And in Broward County, this is 595 east to west motion from the right to left of your screen. Coming in between I-75, that's about a 17 minute commute between I-75 over to Port Everglades. That's the latest in traffic. Bob and Alicia, back to you. All right, it's uh, 5.49, 11 minutes before 6 o'clock. The Marlins score one in the outfield. The Marlins take a bite out of Randy Johnson and the Diamondbacks and the Finns back home after a good weekend of work. I'm Craig Minervini. Sports is coming up. Monday's newest hit is Mysterious Ways. You investigate, what did you call it? Uh, you were after us. Phenomena. Tonight, when her husband passed on, he made a promise to return one year later. You really think this guy's going to materialize? I can be there when it actually happens. He must miss you. His aura is still very much with me. Will it be a mystery or a miracle? Get your cameras ready, folks. Don't miss this powerful new drama, Mysterious Ways, tonight at 8, 7 central on NBC. Coming in September to NBC6. This is The Rock, the people's champ from the WWF. Now everyone knows that The Rock is from South Florida. And everyone knows that The Rock played in the 1995 FedEx Orange Bowl game. That's why The Rock says this. Get involved with the YFL, that's Youth Football League, the FedEx Orange Bowl Youth Football League. Now if you're a player or a cheerleader, the only way to be a part of it is by registering with your local park. That's only and only if you smell what The Rock is cooking. Join the YFL and play in the bowl before the bowl. Good morning, everybody. Even the most positive Marlin fan out there, the guy who says, what this man? You know that guy? He had to be concerned. Six foot ten inch Cy Young fireballer. Randy Johnson yesterday against Marlin ace Ryan Dempster and Billy the Marlin's birthday bash. His pals on hand try not to say hello or sing him a song, but of course, nail him with water. Hey, that's what things are for. Fish off to a good start. Castillo doubled in the first move to third on a stolen base. Scored on Johnson's wild pitch. One zip fish. Ryan Dempster at his best post All-Star outing. He struck out seven over seven innings. But one guy gave him fits. Luis Gonzalez, who homered earlier in the game, breaks a 1-1 tie in the sixth. In the second of the game, two on shots, 3-1 Arizona. Now, 
Randy Johnson struck out 11 Marlins over 11, uh, seven innings, but one guy gave him troubles too. Bottom of the seventh, Kevin Millar. Third hit off the big unit. This one had gone on 11th home run of the year. Made it 3 2. Then, bottom of the eighth with two out. Derek Lee, big hit. Off Mike Morgan, ties the game at three. Next up, Millar, his fourth hit of the game. Double down the line, scores D. Lee, 4 3 Marlins. Alfon Seca on to pick up the save, number 31. And the Fish win it, 4 3, the final. A great, and the to a great game, kept us in the game all day, and it was just, you know, we had good at-bats as a team against Randy all day long, you know, and I just think it was a great team win. Unbelievable. Well, what a great left fielder he is. Yeah, he played flawlessly out there, and, uh, and four hits, and Kevin had a big, big day. You know, we never give up, and, and uh, we keep fighting to the end, and, and uh, you can't say enough about Millar today, what a, what a job he did. It was a great game, you know, obviously we came up on that short short on the stick, but but it was a, a real uh, dogfight to the end, you know. After when Luis Castillo's second hit off Johnson in the third, words were exchanged, but what was said depends on who you talk to. Yeah, it was like too bad to me, but it looked like uh, he maybe got you a little bit and uh, said something to him while he was. No, I just took my hat off to him. I took my hat to him. Did he say he was going to throw at you? Yeah. He said, I want, I want to hit you this time, but, you know. Trying to intimidate you. Yeah, and you know. Didn't work. He, he, he won a little bit. <laughs> you know, I, think, I think a little bit about, you know, I say I don't want to hit him in the face, you know. Uh, Luis is not his guy. Dolphins back in town after two days of practices against the Bucks. You know, Lando still no winner in the quarterback sweep six with Jay Feather and Damon Ewood neck and neck. And even though the things are funny to work on, the offense showed some spark, especially with the ground game against a very good front seven in the box. Offensive coordinator Chan Gailey happy with his squad. Well, I think we've made some progress in the running game for sure. Um, we've done some things in the passing game. We've still got a lot of work to do in some areas, which is, you know, the, the red zone and um, and our two minute. Uh, we've, you know, our short yardage goal line. We still got a lot of work to do there. But uh, the guys have have taken the other part and, and worked it pretty well. If nothing else, uh, you know, we leave here reassuring ourselves would probably be the right word that uh, hey, that we, we, you know, we're we're a very good football team. All right, and WNBA, the Soul snap a six-game losing streak, beating Seattle by the final of 64 to 51. Marlins home for the Astros tonight. That's Lucky Morning Sports. I'm Craig Benervini. Uh, thanks, Craig. Coming up in the next half hour of today in South Florida, an all-points bulletin for the man who witnesses say rescued a very important dog. A live report coming up. Republicans are ready to usher in their next presidential nominee at the GOP National Convention. Plus, you know what day it is. At about yes, Monday. This Monday, mm -hmm. we're going to tell you what Dr. Paul Kennedy has in store for you and your morning workout. Here's a live look from our Skycam network at 595 and Pine Island Road. Chris Leonard coming up with traffic. Bob Weaver coming up with a forecast. Well, that's new, isn't it? What? Pine Island Road, Kim? We've had it. Really? Yes. Okay. We'll be back. This is my final plea. I am a gecko, not to be confused with Geico, which could save you hundreds on car insurance. So stop calling me. Geico, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't want mail. You don't have to sacrifice service to save money. Geico, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Dental Health Group offers quality dental care. Let us brighten your smile with the latest in cosmetic dentistry. Whitening, straightening, that will make your smile make you smile. For the best and affordable dentistry in a caring environment, call Dental Health Group today at 888-83-SMILE. Dental Health Group, ready to get the smile.
serving South Florida, this is WTVJ NBC6 News. A canine training to save lives needs some help himself. He is a dog in training to find missing victims, but now this morning he's the one missing. I'm Tina Conti, live in Miami-Dade County. I'll explain coming up in a live report. A 13-year-old goes on a joyride and ends up in someone's living room. And police say this isn't the first time the teen has run in with the law. The city of brotherly love rolls out the red carpet for the grand old party. This is today in South Florida for Monday, July 31st, 2000. And good morning, everybody. I'm Bob Mayer. And I'm Alicia Ortega. It is now about uh, three minutes to six. About. About. Well, it's two minutes of six. She's, okay. She's close. And uh, here's Bob Weaver with a look at her weather. We, we can never get them settled, you see. We, yeah, well, we, well, that's right. Yeah, well, Bob uh, just wants to be uh, controversial. That's what it is. However, uh, he was uh, close on the time, so you can set your watches. Let's take a look right now and uh, look at what's going on. Now, I know you're interested in the tropics right now. There are no big developments in the tropics. Uh, I think you're going to start to see some uh, things popping off the African coast. But for now, uh, I will show you probably this area uh, the last time for a while until we get towards uh, the end of the season. Then we come back here. Uh, the various uh, areas we go to are where most of the storms should form on that time of year. Now, if you take a look at this right now, you can see some unsettled weather right here around Cuba. That may even move across and bring showers here to South Florida. Otherwise, uh, the areas here, all the way to the coast of Africa, and uh, there's not a lot going on. There are several little puffs, but that's about it. Here you take a look to the south, showers, thunderstorms, and a little bit of unsettled conditions. Some of those are going to affect us. What you're going to find is that uh, the increase in clouds and showers will be occurring late tonight and tomorrow. But as we get to the weekend, you're going to go back to normal showers and thunderstorms. Right now, let's go back to Chris Leonard and see what the highways look like. Hey, Bob, here's a live shot from our SkyCam network in Fort Lauderdale at Griffin Road, just south of Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. Nicely traveled conditions for you here. No wet roadways to speak of. Different story, though, between Hallandale Beach Boulevard down to the Golden Glade. A little slick, leaving Broward County into Miami-Dade. Here's a uh, live shot from 79th Street. A few extra cars joining the ride from the Golden Glade all the way into downtown. Only one crash in Hialeah. It's on the Airport Expressway westbound. It's minor in nature, not going to slow you up too much. It's on the approach to Northwest 36th Street. That's the latest in traffic. Bob and Alicia, back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. This morning, the search is on for a prized dog of a Miami-Dade rescue squad. The dog turned up missing yesterday, and according to the owner, the canine is now somewhere in an animal hospital in South Florida. Which one is the question? NBC6 reporter Tina Conti is live in Southwest Dade with the latest. Tina? Good morning. As we've seen time and time again, search and rescue dogs do help to save lives. Now, the owner of a German Shepherd in training to be a rescue dog may be one step closer to finding out what happened to his dog. However, this morning, he needs some help trying to fill in the blanks on this one. Owner Alex Sid says Bruce the German Shepherd jumped over the fence on Saturday night. He has been missing ever since then. I'm like really depressed, to be honest with you. Well, I think working with them, you get more attached with them because they become closer to you and they try to do things to please you. And it hurts, you know, it, it's, it's, like, it's like, to me, it's like losing a, my son or my daughter. It, Following our initial television report, a witness called the WTVJ studios to say he believes that he saw Bruce the German Shepherd after a car accident. He believes the animal was struck by a vehicle. Another witness on the scene reportedly brought that dog to an animal hospital. The only problem is the witness who called us says he doesn't know who the person was or which hospital he took the dog to. According to his owner, 
Bruce does have a tattoo in his right ear, number 11028. Sid is offering a reward for the dog. The dog was in training to become an elite member of the Miami-Dade County Search and Rescue Team, which rescues victims following tragedies around the world. Now, the person who picked up Bruce and took him to the animal hospital was described by another witness as a young man, possibly around 19 years old. He was driving a white Mitsubishi Montero. We should note that that was not the vehicle believed to have struck the dog. He was just a helpful bystander in this situation. The dog's owner now hoping to contact this helpful person if he can, or he's hoping possibly the vet from the animal hospital which cared for the dog will possibly come forward. If you have any information about Bruce, this German Shepherd, again, in training to be a rescue dog, you are asked to call Miami-Dade Police. Reporting live in West Miami-Dade, Tina Conti, NBC6. Tina, thank you. Well, he's just 13 years old, but authorities say he's already had several run-ins with the law. Police say the teenager likes to steal cars. They also add his latest caper landed him and another person right in the hospital. NBC6 reporter Benno Schmidt has the details from Fort Lauderdale. Rosa Bryant was chatting calmly on the phone fixing some watermelon when her Sunday afternoon was interrupted, her house crashing down around her. What did she think? I'll tell you the truth, I can't actually tell you. It happened so fast and quick that I don't know myself. When told a 13-year-old boy had stolen a car driving it through her front door, putting her life at risk, destroying her home, Bryant says she immediately thought of her own children. I feel so sorry for the child. You do? Yeah, because I got cheering myself, and I feel sorry for the poor little fella. Even though you apparently stole the car and yeah, came in here? That grand, from, grand cheering, too, you know, and you never know. But the team was not as lucky as Brian, who escaped with minor injuries. He was sent to the hospital. The team's family tells NBC6 the team was under house arrest for stealing another car, several cars, in fact, even driving one of those cars into another home. The teen's father offering apologies to family members outside the battered home. His uh, parent came and apologized to you, to me. I didn't get his name or nothing, but I accepted the apology. And why would you accept it? That's a big gesture on your part. Well, I think it's decency for him to come and apologize. To give you some sense of how fast the team was going, take a look down here at the car's tracks. If you follow them, they lead to a divot in the front lawn. Investigators say the car, going at least 70 miles an hour, bottomed out there in the front lawn, then went airborne into the house. A boom, like thunder. And then what did you see? Yeah, I seen smoke. An unusual chain of events, to be sure, but listen to this veteran FHP trooper. All I can tell you is nothing surprises me now. That was Benno Schmidt reporting. The Republican National Convention gets underway today. This morning, actually, in Philadelphia. The GOP plans to push its new platform and its prime candidate for president. Brooke Hart is in Philadelphia with the very latest. Brooke? Good morning. It's opening day for Republicans in Philadelphia, and with access to education and health care at the top of their agenda, some may need reminding this is the GOP. Signs up, balloons up, delegates are fired up at Philadelphia's convention center, now Republican display case. The tune from center stage to include some unconventional GOP themes, starting with education from tonight's speaker and would-be first lady, Laura Bush. I'm nervous, a little bit nervous, but not that much. Her opening night co-star, Colin Powell, speaking on the power of volunteers. Could this be the new feel-good party? Democrats in this new ad say not so fast. Katie was one of only eight members of Congress to oppose the Clean Water Act, one of the few to vote against Head Start. Running mate Dick Cheney, arriving to cheers yesterday, says he'd rethink some votes, but offers unwitting help to critics insisting he can't shake his past. That's what we're trying to reestablish in Washington with a 19, or excuse me, with a 2000 campaign. That's right, it is the 21st century. Slip or symbol aside, Cheney isn't holding back George W. Bush in the polls. The latest from NBC and the Wall Street Journal puts Bush swinging through Ohio Sunday six points ahead of the presidential pack. My job is to do something more than, more than just an agenda. My job is to lift the spirit of the country. With confidence and a deliberately positive message, the party and its candidate now ready for their close-up. 
There is some party business on the day's agenda, including a tribute to late Senators Lincoln Chafee and Paul Coverdell. George W. Bush doesn't arrive until Wednesday, but he's scheduled to address delegates via satellite tonight. In Philadelphia, I'm Brooke Hart. Now back to you. All right, Brooke. Do you know it the time? is uh, seven minutes after six o'clock. Very good. Still ahead, it's Fitness Monday. We'll tell you how to run your way into a better you. Well, life's a treadmill, isn't it? It is a shopper's dream. We'll tell you how to get that new fall wardrobe and keep some money in your pocket at the same time. We'll be right back. Bernie Rubber with Sly and Fanny Sensation Penelope Cruz. I'm Pat O'Brien. On the next, that's us Hollywood. Our own Nancy O'Dell joins Sly on the racetrack and in the pit for a speedy big screen comeback. Then, from steamy scenes to sultry photo spreads, get a peek at Penelope Cruz won't get anywhere else. Plus, we've got the official photo from Brad and Jennifer's wedding. Next, Access Hollywood. Tonight at 7, followed by Extra here on NBC6. Do you have trouble paying your bills? Do you have credit problems? Are you in debt? Yet? You need help. There is help. The United Way can help. With Consumer Credit Counseling Service, multilingual certified counselors ready to help you get out of debt. There's no counseling fee, and you can call the number on your screen 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It's never too late or too early. Call now. Group uses the latest techniques in ceramic crowns or implants to permanently restore or replace teeth and improve your smile. It will make you smile. For the best and affordable dentistry in a caring environment, call Dental Health Group today at 888-83-SMILE. Amazing Blue Star Ointment stops itching fast. Athlete's foot, jock itch, psoriasis, ringworm, scalp itch, stops corn and callus growth fast. Winter itch, dry crack feet. The original. Ask for it. The NPC6 Neighborhood Weather Net is brought to you by Bell South. Only on NPC6. It's Fitness Monday again, and this week our fitness expert is reminding us one of the best ways to get into shape. Well, lace up those running shoes, stop eating, and get ready for a cardio stop cardiovascular eating. workout that is sure to get your blood pumping. Here's Bob Kennedy. Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Kennedy with Valley Total Fitness. You know, running is one of the most popular ways of improving your cardiovascular training. At our club, we have several ways of helping with that. One of them, the most popular, the grand champion of them all, is the treadmill. Now, Robin is on our treadmill at about five miles per hour, which, as you can see, is a slow jog. And that's a great way to get started on your training. You don't have to run at a high speed for even a prolonged period of time to get the training effect that you're looking for. In fact, the good news is you can do your running in 10-minute segments. Generally, we recommend about 20 minutes minimum to about 40 to 50 minutes maximum three times per week. But as I mentioned, the good news is you can do it in 10-minute segments, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, maybe 10 minutes in the evening. It does have a collective effect. One of the advantages of the treadmill is that Robin can actually take the incline or the angle up a little bit. Robin, why don't you go ahead and do that? You can see she's at about five miles per hour, but with the push of a button, she was able to increase the angle of the treadmill by about three degrees. That increases the difficulty just a little bit, and it gets her a little bit better workout. Thanks, Robin, that was great. But another way, a new way, is called the elliptical trainer. This is what they look like. One of the advantages of an elliptical trainer is it reduces a lot of the shock commonly associated with running. You see, whenever you run, you bring three to five times the weight of your body down on your ankles, knees, and hips. The elliptical trainer is sort of a gliding movement. Kelly and Carlos are now using the elliptical trainer, and you can see that they move forward, and the machine sort of bottoms them out and brings them back. So they get all the heart and lung benefit of the running. Both of them are at a fairly decent pace right now, but it doesn't have the jarring that's normally associated with running. Now, with a treadmill, one of the other advantages we have also is a flex deck. This one allows you to sort of bottom out and eliminates that. The flex deck is a little springier. Now, for those of you at home, all I want you to do is get up and get out and start running. You can start at a slower speed. In fact, with Robin, I probably could have started her with about four miles per hour. So get out and give it a try. On a scale of one to 10, you should be about a four or a five. You should be able to have a conversation with the person you're running with 
in order to get a good workout. It doesn't have to be long, and it doesn't have to be relatively intense in order to get the training effect you want. Running, it's a great way to train. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. Paul Kennedy with Valley Total Fitness. We'll talk and train again soon. Bob's his brother. You can find out more about today's fitness segment by logging onto our website at, I just want to see if you're listening, nbc6.net. I've heard uh, your treadmill has a lot of clothing hanging on it. You're talking to, about Weaver, right? No, yours. I've heard Bonnie Actually, has told my me. my wife uses the treadmill every single day. After she takes the clothes the off way, and you put on that's it. That's the way it will continue. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is now about 6-12. Still ahead on today in South Florida. A brush fire puts Broward residents on alert. We'll tell you what fire crews are doing. Thrill seekers get more than they bargained for when they're left hanging on an amusement park ride. A complete check of the morning forecast coming up and the morning traffic situation. Look at I-95 at 79th Street. Chris Leonard coming up with the traffic situation. Actually, sky cam kind of sounds like an amusement park ride. Doesn't we'll be right back. A half century ago. Here in this building, while the television began. WTVJ made the commitment to deliver the first and best newscast in South Florida. Journalistic excellence, community service, Consistent innovation. Interesting. The more things change, the more they stay the same. The difference is experience. Experience the difference of NBC6. Come on. Hey, looking for a ride here. Ooh, that's nice. Come to Papa. Oh, man. What is that? A Corolla? Oh. Ooh, Daddy likes. Oh, the redesigned 2001 Corolla. It's more fun than you think. Well, hello there. Whoa. Oh, every time. At the end of any given month, something strange happens to the unused minutes you buy from most wireless providers. They get thrown away, but at Bell South Mobility, things are a little different. They aren't going anywhere. They now roll over to the next month. Introducing Rollover Minutes, only from Bell South Mobility, where we feature Motorola digital phones. They're your minutes. Keep them. The revolution is here. Information. Innovation. How? And NBC6.net is leading the way. This is the convergence of news and the Internet, where you interconnect with the most experienced news team in South Florida. And that's just the beginning. NBC6.net is pioneering the most comprehensive news site in South Florida. So log on, link up, and stay tuned to NBC6.net. The internet is in our name. Eric's back with his one true love. Mr. Murray. A moment of truth that breaks another woman's heart. I hate you. Tears his family apart. She's a tramp, Eric! And ends with a tragic twist. Oh, God. And... Who's the daddy? Hundreds of thousands voted for the father of Hope's baby, John or Stefano. Who's the daddy? Find out soon. Days of our lives. Today at 1, followed by Passions here on NBC6. So Thrill Seekers in Iowa went up one ride and came down another. The Sky Ride at Adventureland Park got stuck over the weekend, trapping 50 people 50 feet in the air. They had to be rescued using fire ladder trucks, cherry pickers, and a crane. A park spokesman says the ride shut down because someone flipped a breaker switch. No one knows why that happened, how it happened, or who did it. If you're scared of heights, that could be a problem. But for two people in love, oh, it could be a romantic how night nice. out. Stuck up there for two hours? Yeah. A lot, of t a lot to talk about in two hours, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Let's go to Bob Weaver for a look at our Monday weather. Well, we won't get stuck on a couple of things here. First of all, uh, we're going to talk to you about uh, what's happening around the country briefly. Take a look at this. You can see a lot of the rainfall here now is over the eastern sections of the country. Now, the uh, general trend, the general pattern, these systems that are moving across are affecting the weather uh, over the eastern sections. Atlanta, uh, go up to Washington, Burlington, Albany, uh, Caribou, Maine, uh, you'll find even there there are going to be some showers uh, today. Here it is, there's a system that's right around the northeast 
and that's bending all the way down here into Texas, and along the southern sections there'll be some showers also. Right at this point, there's nothing very violent or very heavy, but some of the thunderstorms that do occur could produce some heavy weather. In the meantime, if we go on here, here's our late radar picture, the late Doppler, and if you look at that, look at Fort Lauderdale, still a few showers, and there's still the flow of showers coming in. So if you're driving in this morning again, don't be surprised if you see some of the roadways a little bit on the wet side. So just use caution, use your noggin there, and you'll be okay. Uh, it takes a, a little bit of slow driving in some places to get you where you're going safely. Now, if we look at this picture here, uh, this is where we're going to be watching areas very closely, right off the African coast and a little bit north here of the coast, you see the uh, Cape Verde Islands. Now, uh, you've heard of the Cape Verde storms. A lot of them pop in uh, right through that area. Here, if you can see more than we've been seeing over the past uh, week or two, but now we start to see right off the African coast, some of these areas beginning to pop into the water, and there'll be more, and some of those will be even heavier. So we'll keep watching that, and you just keep watching us, and uh, we'll bring you up to date. Here is the satellite picture now right through the Caribbean, and if you look here, well, the only thing you could really see, some of the showers, some of the thunderstorms that have moved out, you're going to have more uh, coming in tonight. Uh, late tonight, you'll have a few showers, a few thunderstorms, and then for tomorrow, it's going to be somewhat unsettled as uh, the little trough begins to affect our weather. Then after that, things should be better. Right now, uh, let's go out to the highwayman. Uh, here's Chris Leonard. Good morning once again, Bob. Here's a live shot from our SkyCam network, southbound at 79th Street on the left side of your screen. Look at the Vexter Company that's joining for the ride. It's about already up to a 17-minute commute time between the Golden Glades all the way through to the Airport Expressway. Here's through Hialeah on the A26 southbound. Also, a few extra cars joining the ride between I-75 to 103rd. In Broward County, different contrast here. North and southbound on 95, a pretty good ride, and I'm just being passed a note that we do have a reported accident now. Injuries in Davie on 595 eastbound near Knob Hill Road. We'll bring you more on that in a few minutes. Bob and Alicia, back to you. All right, 19 minutes after 6 o'clock. Still ahead, people love South Florida for a variety of reasons, and now a local magazine is recognizing what's hot and also the flavor of the place we call home. Plus... The Marlins take a bite out of Randy Johnson and the Diamondbacks and the Finns back home after a good weekend of work. I'm Craig Minervini. Sports is coming up. America's first family. Today's NBC6 Valley's Fitness Monday is brought to you by Valley's Total Fitness. Look better. Feel better. Look better. It's your body and it's your life and you can make it great. So how is it going to be? What's it going to be? Join Valley Total Fitness right now during our off-season sale and get started for just $19 down and only $19 a month. Call 1-800-FITNESS today and join for our lowest price of the year. Get all the cardio, equipment, and classes you'll need to make your body look and feel great. Call Valley Total Fitness today. Just $19 down and only $19 a month, our lowest price of the year. We're working hard to stop the spread of citrus canker, and we need your help. I'm Agriculture Commissioner Bob Crawford. It's okay to eat your citrus at home, but moving fruit and plant material out of your yard can spread citrus canker like a wildfire. Once the disease is carried into your neighbor's non-infected area, the damage is done, the quarantine area grows. Please help us contain this deadly plant disease. Don't move any citrus or plant material from your property. Here the shows you love on Rosie's Summer of Love. Next time... Ben Affleck is here. I love him. He's such a cutie. What? Ben Samos. If you missed it before, it's your last chance to see this great Rosie. Next time... Today at 4 here on NBC6.
the car, dear. I think it's over here. Parked it over there, son. Oh, over there? Yeah. All right. But it's not there. I lost the car. I can't believe I lost the car. Where did you leave it last? No. No. I can't believe I lost the car. You need a car? We'll show you the way. Maroonie, the biggest selection of cars and trucks. When you need a car, you need Maroonie. Harry, we're going to need that car. Well, the Marlins give hometown fans a winning treat, and the Dolphins get a good workout from another Florida team. Craig Minerini is here with Morning Sports. Good morning, everybody. Even the most positive Marlin fan out there, the guy who says, what this man? You know that guy. He had to be concerned. Six foot ten inch Cy Young fireballer. Randy Johnson yesterday against Marlin ace Ryan Dempster and Billy the Marlins' birthday bash. His pals on hand tried not to say hello or sing him a song, but of course, nail him with water. And that's what films are for. Fish off to a good start. Castillo doubled in the first move to throw and a stolen base scored on Johnson's wild pitch. One zip fish. Ryan Dempster at his best post All Star outing. He struck out seven over seven innings, but one guy gave him fits. Luis Gonzalez, who homered earlier in the game, breaks a 1 1 tie in the sixth and the second of the game. Two on shots, 3 1 Arizona. Now, Randy Johnson struck out 11 Marlins over 11, uh, seven innings, but one guy gave him troubles too. Bottom of the seventh, Kevin Millar. Third hit off the big unit. This one had gone on 11th home run of the year. Made it 3-2. Then, bottom of the eighth with two out. Derek Lee, big hit. Off Mike Morgan, ties the game at three. Next up, Millar, his fourth hit of the game. Double down the line, scores D. Lee, 4-3 Marlins. Alphonse on to pick up the save, number 31. And the Fish win it, 4-3, the final. Great, to a great game, kept us in the game all day. And it was just, you know, we had good at bats as a team against Randy all day long, you know, and I just think it was a great team win. Unbelievable. Well, what a great left fielder he is. <laughs> yeah, and he played flawlessly out there. And, uh, and four hits. And Kevin had a big, big day. You know, we never give up, and, and uh, we keep fighting to the end. And, and uh, you can't say enough about Millar today. What a, what a job he did. It was a great game. You know, obviously we came up on that short shorter than the stick, but but it was a, a real uh, dogfight to the end, you know. After Wins. Luis Castillo's second hit off Johnson in the third, words were exchanged, but what was said depends on who you talk to. Yeah, it was his empty bag to me, but it looked like I uh, maybe got you a little bit, you know, said something to him. No, I just took my hat off to him. I took my hat to him. Did he say he was going to throw at you? Yeah. He said, I want, I want to hit you this time, but, you know. Trying to intimidate you. Yeah, and you know. Didn't work. He, he, he won a little bit. <laughs> you know, I think a little bit about, you know, I said I don't want to hit him in the face, you know. Uh, Luis is an honest guy. Dolphins back in town after two days of practices against the Bucks in Orlando. Still no winner in the quarterback sweepstakes with Jay Feather and Damon Ewan neck and neck. And even though the things are funny to work on, the offense showed some spark, especially with the ground game against a very good front seven in the box. Offensive coordinator Chan Gailey happy with his squad. Well, I think we've made some progress in the running game for sure. Um, we've done some things in the passing game. We've still got a lot of work to do in some areas, which is, you know, the, the red zone and, um, and our two-minute. Uh, we, you know, our short yardage and goal line, we still got a lot of work to do there. But uh, the guys have, have taken the other part and, and worked it pretty well. If nothing else, uh, you know, we leave here reassuring ourselves would probably be the right word that, uh, hey, that we, we, you know, we're, we're a very good football team. All right, in WNBA, the Soul snap a six-game losing streak, beating Seattle by the final of 64 to 51. Marlins home for the Astros tonight. That's Lucky Morning Sports. I'm Craig Benavini. All right, well, a reminder to take us along while you leave the house this morning. What can That's you right. find us, Bob? Uh, well, there's several mm -hmm. places you can find us. Uh, 87.7 on your FM dial. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get home, you can catch all the NBC6 programs on channel 19 or 58. On or, the web? Uh, on the web, NBC6.net. NBC6 Off cable, channels 19 and 58. Right, I said that already. Uh, where else? I can't remember. That's it. Uh, direct Satellite TV, channel oh, 989. 989. That's right. There you go. And that wasn't help from above. I did it on my own. Thank you. Coming up in our next half hour of today in South Florida, a good Samaritan comes to the rescue of a canine in training. This morning, there may be some new information on what happened to this search and rescue dog in training. I'm Tina Conti, live in Miami-Dade. Coming up, however, we'll tell you why the owner still doesn't know exactly where the dog is. My best friend in the doghouse. Be careful the next time you go to the beach.
Where there's smoke, there's fire. We'll tell you what had some Broward residents concerned. Time now is 627. Weather and metro traffic when we come back on Today in South Florida. Every year, our family comes from far and wide to spend a week together. This year, something's changed. We don't brush the toothpaste anymore. Why brush with toothpaste? When your whole mouth needs protecting. Triple protection, aqua fresh, extra fresh does it all. It's three different toothpastes combined into one whole mouth paste. For strong teeth. Healthy gums. And clean, fresh breath. Toothpaste, now we brush with aqua fresh. It's the whole mouth paste. Exciting. The students won't want to leave. Find out how. Call 1 877 Love to Learn. With more than 50 years' experience serving South Florida, this is WTVJ NBC 6 News. Lifesavers train to help others cry out for help when a canine in training turns up missing. That future search and rescue dog may have been rescued himself by a good Samaritan. I'm Tina Conti live in West Miami Dade. Coming up, however, we'll tell you why the owner is still having trouble trying to find him. A scare in the air for passengers on board a Concorde when the plane is forced to make an emergency landing. Uncle Sam wants you to hit the stores and rack up the savings. It's tax-free shopping time. Today in South Florida, it is Monday, July 31st, the year 2000. Not looking bad right there on the highways. Uh, I believe that's 595 and Pine Island Road. Chris Lynn is going to be along shortly to tell us about the traffic. But first, know, I just thought of something. What? By the way, Felicia Ortega, Bob Mayer. It's really not Uncle Sam because it's just the state of Florida. No Uncle Sam in the state of Florida? No. Uncle oh. Sam is the, the big, uncle the of big all head honcho right. federal guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. We have an Uncle Bob here. However. Yes, we do. He's going to tell us about the weather, Bob. Well, uh, as we uh, talk about the weather, uh, Uncle Bird won't be here for a little while yet. And then uh, what we have to do is let you all know that uh, a little bit later on, uh, we're going to do the birthdays again. So if you have your birthday in already, it might be a little late, but we'll still do them. And then if you'd like to get your birthday on the air, we'll uh, give you the new address and everything else. A little bit later on, uh, we'll get everything together here for you, and we'll do the birthdays once again. So don't be discouraged. Here we take a look what's happening. Are you traveling? It's still hot over the western areas, mild over the northeast, and hot over the south again. But look what's happening. Uh, the overnight temps are really very pleasant. You look at uh, Washington, New York, around Boston, 63 degrees for a high today, uh, I mean for a low overnight at Boston. And look at the 50s and 60s elsewhere, Chicago, Detroit, and many, many areas are a little bit chilly during the nighttime. So take a sweater along. That's about it. Uh, here is, uh, we're going to, uh, oh, uh, okay, we'll go to Bob and Alicia. All right, thank you, Bob. A special dog trained for search and rescue missions turns up missing himself, luckily after our report right here on NBC6. The owner now has a clue as to where the, the uh, dog might be, but he's still a long way from a happy reunion. NBC6 reporter Tina Conti is live in West Miami-Dade with the latest. Tina? Good morning. That owner does still need the public's help. But we are talking about a dog that could one day help to save lives. This German Shepherd was in training to become a member of Miami-Dade County's search and rescue team. Now, this morning, the owner may have some information as to what may have happened to the dog, but so far, there's still no sign of him. Owner Alex Sid says Bruce the German Shepherd jumped over the fence on Saturday night. He has been missing ever since then. I'm like really depressed to be honest with you. Well, I think working with him, you get more attached with him because he becomes closer to you and they try to do things to please you. And it hurts, you know, it, it's, it's like, it's like, to me, it's like losing a, my son or my daughter. 
Following our initial television report, a witness called the WTBJ studios to say he believes that he saw Bruce the German Shepherd after a car accident. He believes the animal was struck by a vehicle. Another witness on the scene reportedly brought that dog to an animal hospital. The only problem is the witness who called us says he doesn't know who the person was or which hospital he took the dog to. According to his owner, Bruce does have a tattoo in his right ear, number 11028. Sid is offering a reward for the dog. The dog was in training to become an elite member of the Miami-Dade County Search and Rescue Team, which rescues victims following tragedies around the world. Now, the Good Samaritan who rescued that dog is described by other witnesses as a young man around 19 years old. He was seen driving a white Mitsubishi Montero. He used that vehicle to take the dog to the animal hospital. This morning, the dog's owner is hoping to hear either from that Good Samaritan or from the animal hospital, which cared for Bruce. Again, obviously, they're hoping to get any information on this missing future search and rescue dog. If you have any information, you're asked to call Miami-Dade Police. Reporting live in West Miami-Dade, Tina Conti, NBC6. Tina, thank you. If you haven't heard the news yet, pets are in the doghouse in parts of Fort Lauderdale. A new ordinance went into effect over the weekend that bans dogs and cats and snakes and birds and turtles and everything else from beaches there. And That's right. <laughs> dogs and cats. Everything. No, no, everything. Andrea Brody tells us about it. The first weekend of this ban is now coming to a close. We have been out on Fort Lauderdale Beach for hours now. One thing is clear, most people have gotten the message, man's best friend is no longer welcomed here. They come on late wheels, but not on four legs. Along Fort Lauderdale Beach, the dog days of summer are officially over. A new city commission order outlaws canines and other members of the animal kingdom from both sidewalk and sand. Dogs, cats, birds, fish, snakes, whatever. Reptiles, we get iguanas out here also. This is the view that will not be enjoyed much from Harbor Drive to Northeast 18th Avenue. The ban aims to make the beach more attractive to families and tourists. Oh, it's better not to have dogs sniffing, but still, I like dogs to walk around. For the people who love dogs, it's sad, but for me, good. <laughs> no, because I'm afraid for dogs. Did you know that you're not allowed to have dogs on Fort Lauderdale Beach anymore? No, I wasn't aware of the news. They banned them. They did? Why? Seven-month-old Rico, the lone offender this day. His owner confused by the signs that have not yet caught up with the law. Well, I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong or him, you know. We're just walking through the beach. When police do see a dog, right now they're only issuing warnings. Eventually, though, Fido will come with a fine to $500. On Fort Lauderdale Beach, Andrea Brody. NBC6. Well, this morning problems continue to plague Concorde jetliners. Uh, British Airways Concorde, on its way from London to New York, was forced to make an emergency landing in Newfoundland last night. The airline says passengers complained about the smell of gasoline in the cabin. Among the 69 passengers aboard, singers Tony Bennett and George Benson. A second British Airways Concorde was unable to take off from London's Heathrow Airport earlier because of a refueling problem. A brush fire in West Broward is burning itself out this morning. Firefighters say nearly 150 acres started to burn west of I-75 between Commercial and Atlantic Boulevards near the Everglades yesterday. Officials say no homes were threatened by the fire at this time, but they suggest to be on alert if you live in the area. There's no word this morning on what sparked that fire. Traffic is up and running along parts of Hollywood's A1A after it was closed down for a construction project at the Diplomat. The road was closed for eight hours overnight while crews hoisted a skywalk into the air, attaching it to two towering pillars. It will provide access to the resort's retail and restaurant complex on the west side of the road and hotel located on Oceanside. And what a sight last night's project was. It looked like an arc of light soaring across State Road A1A as the skywalk was put into place. A spokesperson says, that the resort hopes the lighted skywalk will become a landmark for our community. Pretty sight, huh? Sidewalk in the sky. No, skywalk. 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 I guess you could okay. call it that. It's uh, 637 right now, and, and it could soon cost you more to light up if you smoke. We'll have the tales live with Nanette Hansen coming up. Plus, with school right around the corner, Uncle Sam is giving parents a special incentive that's putting money in your pocket or 
Something it there, shall we say? South Florida, known for its sun, sand, and surf. Now, some more favorites are being honored by a local magazine. We'll be right back. Experience. It's a mark of distinction. I have been working with hurricanes and typhoons for uh, 40 years. A sign of commitment to your craft. NBC6 represents integrity and cares about the public, and those are things that are important to me. This hurricane season, Jerry Gerald joins Roland Stetton in the NBC6 Stormwatch weather team. It was an easy choice. You're going to get the good, solid, accurate information that you need. The difference is experience. Experience the difference of NBC6. Today in South Florida is brought to you in part by your South Florida Ford dealers. I just want to celebrate, yeah, yeah. celebrate the excitement of getting zero live financing plus a thousand cash on Mustang. The Ford authorized clearance going on now. Zero live financing plus a thousand cash on Mustang with 190 horsepower and an attitude for fun. The Ford authorized clearance is going on now at your South Florida Ford dealer. Plus a thousand cash back and save over forty-two hundred dollars in finance savings now. I'm Joe Locker. Bell South has been a proud sponsor of the Neighborhood Network for the past four years. With South Florida's varied and unpredictable weather, this system shows atmospheric conditions in neighborhoods where you live. Our commitment is to give you the best value for your communications dollar, and we've seen the results. For the fourth consecutive year, Bell South has won the J.D. Power Award for having the best customer service of any local telephone company in the country. Thank you, South Florida, for making Bell South number one again. Hunters, don't miss the Fall Hunting Classic at Bass Pro Shops Outdoor World. Sail July 29th to August 6th. Displays and free seminars August 3rd to the 6th. Today's Money Talk segment is brought to you by World Ford. A topic consumer money news today, a multi-billion dollar utility merger. Today's uh, early today's Nanette Hansen joins us now live with details and a good morning to you, Nanette. Yeah, good morning, Bob. Good morning, everybody. Uh, get ready to meet the biggest electric company in the U.S., FPL, which of course owns Florida Power and Light, is merging with Entergy. It's a deal valued at about $7 billion. The merger will create the largest electric company in the country with more than 6 million customers and 48,000 megawatts of generating capacity. Five states will be served by the new company, including Florida, Texas, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Louisiana. Turning to Wall Street now, stocks ended the day lower Friday. Fresh economic data showed strong growth, and guess what? That fueled worries that interest rates could rise again. The Dow lost nearly 75 points. The Nasdaq dropped 179, while the S&P 500 fell almost 30. On the earnings front today, Baker Hughes, BarnesandNoble.com, Computer Sciences, Tyson Foods, and Union Carbide all scheduled to post numbers. It's going to cost more for smokers to light up. Philip Morris and R.J. Reynolds are raising cigarette prices starting today. Prices at the counter will likely go up between six and eight cents a pack. Cigarette makers have been hit with a series of lawsuits claiming compensation for the treatment of sick smokers. Other tobacco companies are expected to follow suit with the increases. Ford is unveiling a joint venture with Qualcomm to deliver wireless services for its cars and trucks. It's called Wimcast, designed to compete with GM's OnStar service to bring phone, internet, navigation, and safety devices, safety services rather, to vehicles. Wimcast could be installed in a million Fords by 2002 with the possibility of all Ford cars being equipped with the system two years after that. On Squawk Box this morning, Mark Haynes is off. Uh, Bob Sellers will be in with guest host Vincent Farrell of Spears, Benzac, Solomon & Farrell. They'll also be chatting with the CEO of NYFIX. NYFIX. It keeps changing on me, folks. Sorry about that. NYFIX. Join me early today, Monday through Friday, at 4.30 on NBC, your first look at business news and, of course, the day's top stories all this week, covering the GOP convention in Philly, 
So uh, a lot of uh, businesses actually uh, getting involved as well, you know, getting that corporate name out there with some very influential people who gather at both the GOP and the Democratic conventions. Kind of an interesting take on all this politics. Bob and Alicia? Do we know, Nanette, in the uh, uh, power company merger, if the resulting company will, will bear FPL's name? Not sure about that yet. Uh, let me double check, though, because perhaps our producer has run across that. Prashant, have you run across that? I'm sorry? He said no. Well, not yet. Okay. No. Sorry. We, we know it's like, as FPL, and, and uh, we like yeah. the name, actually. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, the, the, we're familiar with it, but, you know, it's funny when you hear all this, this uh, angst in your, in your earpiece. No. <laughs> no. All right, Nanette. Thank right, thank have you. a good Monday, guys. Okay, you too. Thank you. It's that time of the year again. Parents across the Sunshine State are getting ready for back to school. And that means tax-free shopping yes, is on again, leaving registers ringing across Florida. As NBC6 education reporter Ed O'Dell tells us, for many, it's an offer we just can't refuse. Consumers say there's a lot of money to be saved when stores reduce prices for back to school sales. However, tax free shopping days brings consumers out a lot earlier. Judith and Brian Harris have three children to get ready for the opening of school. Like thousands of consumers at Sawgrass Mills, they have waited patiently for tax-free shopping days. Do you do it every year? Uh, last year we did. Do you think it saves a lot of money? <laughs> yes. The state legislature mandated nine days for tax-free shopping. The period began Saturday and runs until midnight August 6th. On qualified items, consumers do not pay the state's 6% sales tax or local tax options on items costing $100 or less. Do you usually shop on the... Um, the tax-free weekend? Um, no. Did you know about it? Yeah, I read about it in the paper. You read about it? The state expects savings to top $41 million this year. That's almost $35 million more than last year. Most clothing items, even pantyhose and diapers, are tax-exempt. Consumers will still pay taxes on watches, jewelry, skates, and sporting gear. And what does one do after saving money during a tax-free shopping spree? We're going again. <laughs> going to go shopping again? Yes, okay. at another mall. As crowded as stores are, some business people we talked to said they expected to see a lot more people shopping this weekend. In Sunrise, Eldell, NBC6. It's quarter of seven. And that means we're going to be coming up with a live check of the morning forecast. That is uh, 595 in Pine Island Road. Chris Leonard coming up with traffic. Bob Weaver with the forecast. We have had some showers out there. Stay with us. A couple of clouds out there, too. Oh. It's 95. Burn in hot and time for summer abortathon at World Ford. Prices are sizzling on every car, truck, van, and SUV. Drive home in a four-door Explorer. A real value at just $21,950. Fully loaded with many extras. Automatic transmission, cassette and CD player, keyless entry, privacy glass, cruise control, tilt steering, and more. Just $21,950. Prices are hot during summer of Fordathon. Only at World Ford. Three locations, Kendall, Homestead, and Pembroke Pines. Live, real-time stock information. Seen only on NBC6. Brought to you by Trivergent. For 24-hour cable news that's more than just headlines, there's something you should see. But you can't see it if you don't get it. MSNBC. There's something new, real cool. Everything from back to school. Shop, shopping, you shop in the box. Great brands for kids and teens. Teas for cargoes, lots of cheese. Shop, shop, shop in the box. Classes start, summer ends. Look great, impress your friends. Shop, shopping, you shop in the box. One place to go. Everything is nice, so low. Shop, shop, shopping, you shop in the box. At Ross, you'll save up to 65% every day. There's always something new when you're shop, shopping, shopping in Ross. The 2000 Honda Clearance. It only happens once a year, and it's over before you know it. Can we say perfect timing? The 2000 Honda Clearance. Seize the moment. 
Bernie Rubber with Sly and Fanny Sensation Penelope Cruz. I'm Pat O'Brien on the deck. That's us Hollywood. Our own Nancy O'Dell joins Sly on the racetrack and in the pit for a speedy big screen comeback. And from Stevie Jeans to sultry photo spreads, get a peek at Penelope Cruz. You won't get anywhere else. Plus, we've got the official photo from Brad and Jennifer's wedding. Next, Access Hollywood. Tonight at 7, followed by Extra here on NBC6. Well, we all know South Florida is the very best place to live. Oh, but, yes. Uh, do you know what the hottest things to do in our community are? If not, you can turn to Miami Metro Magazine for the answers. The magazine, in conjunction with NBC6, has named the best people, places, and things in South Florida, including some of our own anchors and reporters. The best of list includes everything from the top car wash to the most delicious Medianoche sandwich. Have you had a Medianoche? Yes. So oh, good. Maybe you can order out. From here? We can try. We have to start looking. We have to find out where <laughs> the best places to eat are. Right now. Bob Weaver is here. Maybe he brought some munchies this morning, Bob. Well, I know there's a donut place nearby, <laughs> but uh, that's good for dieting, stuff like that. By the way, you know, while you were doing uh, uh, the business report and Nanette was there and she said, the worst thing is that when people are uh, making a lot of noise over the uh, little IFV, or that's our little earpiece, but what she forgot to say was, it's even worse when you don't hear anything. Now, we take a look at a couple of things. First of all, the winds are out of the southeast at about 15, the sea's three to five feet, and the waters near shore will have a moderate chop. Boaters beware, there'll be some showers, a few thunderstorms over the water areas, possible water spouts, beach goers, be careful. Uh, the winds will be generally southeast, and uh, they'll be coming out at about 15 knots, which is a pretty good clip, so rip currents are entirely possible too, so be careful. For today, look for scattered showers. The increase will come late in the day, probably uh, around uh, midnight or so. You'll start to see some showers and a few thunderstorms, but uh, the increase will continue overnight tonight into tomorrow, and you will have showers and thunderstorms around. What's happening is a little trough is going to affect our weather, and uh, it will be for about a day. Temperature will get up to about 90 degrees, and uh, then for tonight, look for partly cloudy skies. As I said, there'll be a few showers. It'll begin that way, and the overnight low will be about 77 degrees. Then for tomorrow, it uh, should start to move all the way through. You'll find cloudy weather, showers, thunderstorms, and about... Uh, 87 to 90 degrees and then here is the sixth day and I know you want to plan well ahead for the weekend and I think you'll find the weekend a little bit better but you'll begin to get some uh, afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms and the temperatures will go from the uh, 87 degree mark up to about 90 and then when the clouds roll in for the showers and thunderstorms the uh, thermometer will start to come down and then you'll find temperatures will be a little bit lighter for you. That's uh, the overall picture for the weather. Once again, if you have to travel, here's what uh, you're going to see. You are going to uh, see a lot of showers all up and down the East Coast. That's where a lot of the major weather will be occurring. Right now, let's uh, go out to traffic and Chris Leonard. Good morning once again, Bob. We are taking a look here from our SkyCam network at Pine Island and 595. There is a minor crash. Florida Highway Patrol has pushed everything off to the right. It's eastbound on the approach to Knob Hill Road, not presenting too much of a difficult ride for you. Here's a live shot from the Metro Chopper. We're southbound and around Hollywood Boulevard, north and south through this stretch in Hollywood. Looks great. No major difficulties there, but look at the difference here at 79th Street. Southbound out of the Golden Glades, very time-consuming, all the way down to 79th Street and continuing down to the Airport Expressway. And if you're about to hit the streets coming in from Westchester and Sweetwater, well, you get ready to sit and wait here on the Dolphin Expressway. The worst of it between the Turnpike through to Galloway Road, then again approaching the Palmetto Expressway. Once you clear the 826, it's a much nicer ride through the Redwood Curve over to the Toll Plaza. That's the very latest in traffic. We'll be back at 725 with more. Bob and Alicia, back to you. Chris, right, thank, thank you. Chris. you. Well, you don't have to be home to keep up with the news of the day anymore. Now there's 6x6 six six E News. That's because we can email the news to your computer at work before you leave or at home, of course. While you, when you get home, everything's waiting for you. you there. It's the top six stories. It's called 6x6 six six E News, and it's all free. Just log on to our website, NBC6.net. Subscribe and.
You get it's Wall Street way. News, the mm -hmm. weather, what the NBC lineup for the you evening. You get everything. Absolutely everything. Why not? Well, up next, we're going to go to New York to see what's coming up on the Today Show. We'll be right back. A half century ago. Here in this building, while the television began. WTVJ made the commitment to deliver the first and best newscast in South Florida. Journalistic excellence, community service, consistent innovation. Interesting. The more things change, the more they stay the same. The difference is experience. Experience the difference with NBC6. Out in the turquoise sea, somewhere between your imagination and what's real, there is an island, Barbados, just beyond your imagination. For information, call us or your travel agent. John, it's every day. Here, try Sprint PCS. They build the only all digital all PCS nationwide network. So your calls will be clear. Welcome back, John. Thank you. Sprint PCS, the clear alternative to cellular. Amazing Blue Star Ointment stops itching fast. Athlete's foot, jock itch, psoriasis, ringworm, scalp itch, stops corn and callus growth fast. Winter itch, dry crack feet. The original. Ask for it. How do you ensure success? You prepare, and nobody helps you prepare for your day like today in South Florida. Now with Fitness Mondays. Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Kennedy with Valley Total Fitness. I'll be your personal trainer every Monday morning. Prepare for your day, prepare for your life with a leaner, healthier you. Today in South Florida, 5 to 7 a.m. on NBC6. Weather, traffic, news, business. And now Fitness Mondays. From the most experienced news team in South Florida, it's information to help you prepare. Catch Joe Rose and the first team weekday mornings on Sports Radio 560 WQAM. Well, the Today Show is next, and if you've been wondering what today will bring... Here's Katie Craig with a look ahead. Katie? Good morning. Coming up this Monday morning on today, the Republican National Convention. As the GOP party faithful gather in Philadelphia today, we'll talk to candidate George W. Bush's wife, Laura, about what she plans to say in her speech to the delegates tonight. And we'll hear from Governor Bush's former rival, Arizona Senator John McCain, for his thoughts on the Republicans' chances this year. Then if you're addicted to Survivor and you've checked out Big Brother but you really want drama, how about a group of smokers locked up in a house without cigarettes for a week? They're trying to quit, and they're doing it live on the Internet. We'll see how they're surviving. Also, we'll have advice if you're just getting started saving for your retirement. It's never too late. And for women, we'll get some straight answers on the importance of calcium. So all that and more coming up in just a few minutes right here on Today. She cut her hair because you did. She's wearing a sweater. It's July. It's... Katie must be cold. It must be cold in New York. Let's ask Bob Weaver. Bob? Well, it's not bad up there. I wouldn't call it cool during the daytime, but... Uh, when she gets up early in the morning, uh, it is a little bit on the cool side, so uh, can't fault her for that. However, the earrings are too big for a small girl. <laughs> now, let's take a look at a couple of things here. Uh, as we look at the radar picture right now, uh, you can see that there are a few showers moving in, and still there are showers over the water areas. So if you are planning, first of all, to do any boating, just be careful. There could be a few showers and maybe a few thunderstorms over the water areas. But if you're driving, uh, much of this is not too effective to uh, stop you from going wherever you want to go. But just remember, some of the roads will be a little bit on the moist side. And so just drive carefully and you should be okay. There's nothing there particularly heavy. 
And aside from that, we take a look at the tropics, the African coast. I know you're always worried about that, and so am I. And uh, as uh, you see these come off, nothing is developing yet, but this is the area that we are going to be looking at from now on for the hurricane season. Now, here's Bob and Alicia. Thanks, All right, Bob. thank you, Bob. That'll do it for the uh, first ever morning show from Miramar. Yes, and we'll be back tomorrow with our new digs actually unveiling. That's the new right, tonight tomorrow. at 6. We'll, we can't we'll miss it. We'll see it for the first time tonight at 6. Right. We'll be there tomorrow. Morning. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in 26 minutes. Have a great day, everyone.